speaking out. They claim he should not have been in jail in the first place and that he also was not being given his medication. KTV's Christina Rendon joins us live from the newsroom with more on the story. Christina? Well, Mike, we spoke with two sisters who tell us their brother's case all stems from him not wearing a mask on a bus earlier this year. Just this week, they learned he was found unresponsive in his jail cell, and they question authorities who say he died of natural causes. Elvira and Tiffany Monk of Oakland say the system failed their brother, Maurice Monk. It all started because he wouldn't wear his mask on the bus and he was arguing with the bus driver, so he went to jail. Monk was arrested on making a criminal threat to the bus driver in June. The charge was later reduced to a misdemeanor. He was arrested and taken to John George Psychiatric Hospital. His sisters say he suffered from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. But after Monk missed a court date, a warrant was issued for his arrest, and he ended up at Santa Rita Jail in October. The 45-year-old was found dead in his cell at Santa Rita on Monday. If he's 45, it's it can't be natural, natural causes. causes. What possibly killed somebody at a young age at 45? Y'all didn't give him his medicine. This is the document I was trying to get over. Elvira says she tried emailing and calling the jail about her brother's medicine for weeks. On the same day she was going to fax over the information, she was notified by authorities Monk had died. He went up in there healthy. I go to the doctor with him. I went with him to get the hollow doll shot on October the 6th. His next shot was due November the 6th. I tried to give paperwork. Court records obtained by KTVU show Monk's public defender argued to have him released from jail a day before he was due for his next scheduled prescribed shot for schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. But a judge denied the request and his family couldn't afford to pay bail. There's absolutely no reason, I mean, no reason that I can think of with regards to why the court would keep Mr. Monk essentially locked in a cage when he's suffering from mental health issues, for missing a court date. Alameda County Public Defender Brendan Wood says Monk should not have been in jail to begin with and sees no legitimate reason why he was held. The system continues to fail black and brown people. The system continues to fail poor people. The system continues to fail people with mental illness. The sheriff's office says there are no signs of foul play or criminal activity and that he was in the cell alone. Part of a statement reads, we are saddened when anyone passes away in our custody. We go to great lengths to make sure all people in our custody receive exceptional health care and other services. We work with the population of people who struggle with poverty and a lack of access to proper health care, education, programs and services. The women say their brother should still be alive. He had a life to live. He had two kids. He was a happy person. We want to find out what happened to our brother. He was healthy. The sisters say there was an attempt by their brother to attend court after his initial arrest this summer, but for some reason he was not let into the courthouse. We're not sure why, but that is what sparked his arrest warrant and how he ended up at Santa Rita. And Mike, there is now an investigation into the cause of Monk's death. All right, Christina Rundone, live for us tonight in the newsroom. Christina